after a very successful workshop and training in Tanzania, today I'm here in Zanzibar. It's early in the morning and the weather is quite nice. All I can hear is the sound of the wave and it's beautiful, it's amazing. I really love it here. For a GFDRR funded challenge fund project, me and my colleagues were in Dar es Salaam, the largest city of Tanzania. We were there to find the impacts of flooding on infrastructure and also to identify the vulnerable groups of the communities due to those impacts. To go in detail, we focus on Manjese, that inhabits around 70,000 people, out of which 70% live in informal settlement. The ward is very much prone to pluvial flooding. <laughs> My name is Mohamed Isa from Manzese, Mvuleni Street. I say miundombinu muhimu ambao huwa inaathiriwa zaidi ni inakuwaga madaraja kuvunjika, barabara kuchimbika chimbika, eh ikiwepo mifereji, kuna zile wanaziita slabs kama hivyo, wewe vinavunjika ama vinatoka kabisa na hivi waga vinapelekea kuenda sehemu nyingine vinaenda kuziba kwemo na matakataka basi maji wakati mwingine anaenda kwenye makazi ya watu hayo ndio matatizo ambayo mimi nayaona makubwa This problem shared by Muhammad is just an example of how one problem can lead to bigger problems These cascading effects can be identified only with the local experiences and knowledge Therefore, we conducted training for 21 Red Cross volunteers from Manjesa itself. To talk about the training, it was uh, quite unexpected. We were quite nervous actually, because we did not know what to expect from the participants. For the workshop, we developed a board tool, Circle Bao, inspired by the very famous Tanzanian game, Bao. Circle Bao can actively involve local people and can be used anywhere. Um, after the Circle Bao session, uh, they were quite excited to see the whole result. And one of, one of the volunteers uh, commented that it was magical what he was seeing um, because he could clearly visualize what kind of critical infrastructures are impacted due to flooding in their ward, which is very touching for me. And um, it was one of the best moments of the trainings for me. On the third day uh, of our trip, we are going to uh, organize a workshop for the stakeholders. But the interesting thing is that we will not be facilitating the workshop, rather the volunteers that we've trained for two days will be the facilitators for other stakeholders uh, which we are quite uh, excited about because it's quite new and we are also a bit nervous about it um, also because the workshop will be held completely in Swahili which we have no clue about. There were 13 stakeholders from Manjese in total like people from roads, water points, health facilities, religious places and the ward representative. Please talk to the to him and not to the camera. Okay. Okay. My name is Ngaya Onesimo Swai. Ah, kwa siku ya leo ni mwana miundo mbinu yetu inategemeana. Mfano barabara ikiathirika inaathiri miundo mbinu mingine karibu yote kwa sababu zinategemeana. Na kwa maana na upande wa pili ni mwana kama kutokana na mafuriko miundo mbinu ya upande wa sema makazi shule zahanati na masoko mafuruka yanayotokea inaathirika zaidi na, na kwa kufanya vile naamini na kwa na shisha hata uchumi wa nchi kwa sababu vitu vingi vimekuwa vifanyiki on time na ninaweza nikatumia mfano kama upande wa wataka taka ngumu ambazo zile zina wakati wa, wa mafuruko zinaziba mitaro ya maji 
tunaanza tukaanza kutoa elimu na kuhakikisha kwamba hakuna taka ambazo zinatupa kwenye mifereji. Kwa hiyo itakuwa imetupunguza mafuriko kwa asilimia kubwa kwa sababu mvua kinyesha maji yatakuwa yanaondoka. I learned a bit of Swahili, not uh, just few words actually. Uh, mambo, poa, and kakamambo uh, vipi. Yeah, overall it was a, a very nice experience. All the participants uh, from uh, Red Cross, the volunteers, were quite enthusiastic about the training. They were involved. In fact, uh, it was beyond our expectation. It was uh, the first from Deltares. I am super happy.